Guys, we are jumping back into standard with a Delver deck created by the amazing Hello Good Game. Let's see how it goes. What is going on, everybody? And welcome back to another standard gameplay video. Before we talk about today's deck and who created it, all that fun stuff, I just want to uh, kind of let you guys know, I've already recorded tomorrow's video. We're going to use Thursdays as a bit of a flex day. Uh, and what I mean by that is, uh, as an example, tomorrow's video will be a popper video, not something we've seen in quite a while. Uh, but we use that for anything that I'm just kind of trying. That's our flex day, our commander day, our modern day, our whatever it happens to be. Uh, that's going to be the day each week that we get to release those kinds of things. So um, because we are kind of pushing in a slightly different direction with the channel, just trying to diversify a little bit with our gameplay, uh, I want to make sure that we're we're dedicating a little bit of time to that just to test some of those things out and learn the formats a little bit. Standard is still the focus. Every other day aside from Saturday and Thursday are still uh, planned, uh, planned standard videos. Um, Saturday obviously being collection stuff. So just a heads up, that is going to be the schedule. I'll try and post that somewhere. I got to create something for that. But uh, that is certainly part of the uh, upcoming plan. All that aside. Let's talk about today's deck. It is Simic Delver. Uh, more importantly, it's a bit more of like a tempo deck. Uh, and this is created by Hello Good Game. So Hello Good Game, thank you so much. I did see this on Aether Hub. It anything with Delver usually catches my eye. Uh, and this is a really cool one. So as far as the creatures go, we do have the Delver. Uh, we of course have Suspicious Stowaway, the Storm Chaser Drake, Spectral Adversary, all really good things. But you also notice we have Orvar in the deck. So this is actually pretty fun because uh, anytime you cast an instant or sorcery spell that, that targets a permanent you control, another permanent you control, um, you create a token of those permanents, like a copy of them. Uh, and what that allows us to do is like basically get a bunch of Delvers on the field. Even if we only get one, we've got multiple Storm Chaser decks, whatever it happens to be, uh, and hopefully take a full advantage of Orvar here. So it is a Delver deck, but it's more of an Orvar deck, truthfully. Um, now we do have a couple, like I said, kind of disruption and tempo-y things. So we've got Jwari Disruption in here, which is just a really solid card. We've got March uh, of Swirling Mist, which can phase things out. We can use this on our own things, to copy all of it, uh, which is pretty awesome. Uh, we do have Quandrix Command, useful in a lot of different scenarios, so I'm hoping we can get to show that off a little bit. And then, of course, Blizzard Brawl as well uh, as an option for throwing some stuff away uh, or fighting some stuff away, excuse me. You see a Guard Approach is also here, able to tap creatures, uh, give creatures Hexproof, whatever you need to do. Uh, and I think that's it. It's a very straightforward deck, honestly. Uh, Hello Good Game did a really phenomenal job putting this together. I have tested it a little bit. We'll see if we get wins. I did get a couple, um, but it is a bit tricky. We're going to do the best we can. Uh, not a lot to talk about in the land slot either. It's just a very low land count, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, 19. Uh, so fairly low land count, but that is it. Last thing I want to mention before we jump into this. Uh, you'll notice I'm a little bit... Uh, nasally today uh allergy season is hitting full force in south carolina uh and so unfortunately i'm having a little bit of trouble today but we're pushing through for you guys we got this so let's jump into game one right now all right guys here we are for game number one uh this is a bit of an interesting hand but i'm actually gonna try it so the reason being we've got the jwari disruption uh on turn two but that also allows us to leave up that spectral adversary that we could just go ahead and flash out if we so choose. So I'm gonna go for this. We'll see if it works, it may not. I have no idea. Uh, we're definitely pretty threat light, but we do have a lot of ways to protect. So that's very helpful. Uh, and we can fight things away as we see fit. So we'll see what the opponent wants to do, if anything. Looks like nothing. I'm gonna go ahead and flash this out. We'll see if they've got a response. Chances are they might have a burn spell. Uh, which would be quite good here because, again, we've got uh, very little we can do about it. I think we just throw this out and uh, fight. And that's it. Pretty straightforward. We could have led with the Jawari Disruption here, but I kind of like the idea if they didn't have a turn 2 play, I'm thinking they're going to have a turn 3 play. So I think I want to leave that up uh, and hope we draw an untapped land for the Orvar later on. Oh, it looks like Naya. Okay, so this might just be the runes deck. Uh, which is unfortunately a very annoying deck, but this is actually very good. We just go ahead and get rid of that Kodama. Looks like it's a modified list. Interesting. Okay. 
Uh, yeah, super happy to have that. Uh, let's go ahead and swing in for two. Uh, and we can actually just draw a card at the end of the turn if we so choose, uh, which is potentially relevant. We'll see. Okay. Uh, this also gives indestructible, which is really interesting because we actually just get to kind of freely block. Um, okay, so we'll resolve that first. We're going to do this. It's going to gain us two life and draw us a card. Perfect. That's actually really good. So this has indestructible, so this is a free block. Perfect. Uh, yep, that is literally everything we could have needed. Uh, so the question is, do we go for the Orvar or do we wait until the following turn? Um, I think Orvar is probably still going to be the best bet, but let's go ahead and attack in here. I'm just going to throw this out there. Chances are if they can, they'll kill Orvar, if I had to guess. Um, but we'll see. I like the, uh, the potential here. This is such a sick, like, it's an optimal deck. It's a very idealistic deck. <laughs> uh, getting to utilize Orvar is a really fun thing to do if it works. It's always a bit tricky. Uh, it never works the way you expect it to. I'll say most of the time it, it doesn't work because that's not fair. Uh, sometimes it certainly does. So we'll see. Okay. Uh, so they're going to just attack in. Yep. Um, and we're happily gonna welcome four damage to the faith. Excuse me. Again, very uh, nasally and sneezy and all kinds of stuff today. I apologize, guys. Um, hmm. Okay. That's fascinating. So, I think I don't care that much about the Thundering Raiju, right? Let's see. So this actually does phase out. Is this when it enters the battlefield? Yes. Okay, so we're going to learn a little bit today. We do have, yeah, three or more snow permanents. We got that. All right, so let's just fight this off. And we'll create a bigger thing, theoretically. Ah. <laughs> okay. Um... I don't know if this is worth it. <laughs> I have no idea. Probably not. I don't know how that works, actually, either, to be honest. Um, I don't know if that, like, technically grants it. Uh, um, well, I don't know. We will see. Uh, I'm going to leave up the Tamiya safekeeping. There was really no reason to, uh, to march there, I don't think. That was kind of silly. It's fine. Okay. They both get 1-1 one, one counters. They are going to deal a good bit of damage here. But again, we actually have a potentially free... Not free, but a decent block if we want it. Uh, we can give this indestructible. Though I don't think we will. I think we're going to end up drawing a card. Uh, we only have to deal 4 damage to them. So at this point, like, 2 flyers gets the job done. Um, so they have to be a lot more careful about how they approach the next couple turns. Okay, uh, so we just do this. Really didn't even have to do that, but we uh, we do kind of save ourselves a little bit here. So we're going to deal 2 plus 11. That's not enough to kill us, so we win. I mean, just for the fun of it, right? <laughs> All right, cool. <laughs> We did it, guys. That was awesome. Very clean game one, uh, actually. So let's jump into a game two. What's up, guys? Before we jump into the next game, I just want to remind you, if you would like to pick up this month's Patreon rewards, feel free to do so at patreon.com slash it resolves. All right, guys, here we are for game number two. And how do we feel about this hand? It's really hard to pass up a turn one Delver plus a turn two Suspicious Stowaway. Like, I feel like we have to keep it. Uh, I would kind of like one more land, maybe, but... And the march may or may not be good. We'll see. That was kind of a dumb play last game. Okay, land is good. Uh, with the march, there was really no need to do that, I don't think. It fizzled a spell, but that's, a, that's about it. 
Um, all right, we'll see what happens. I assume they just killed Elver, honestly. That's probably a safe bet. <laughs> Most of the time, killing Delver as quickly as you can is, like, generally a good idea. Okay. Interesting. Okay. So I get to kill a non-land. I assume it's the Stowaway, actually. Maybe it's Delver. It does represent more damage, so maybe that? Nope. Okay. Stowaway's out. That's fine. Uh, we will unfortunately decline. Um, put this out. We'll get a nice swing in uh, and go ahead and... Whoa, no. Excuse me. Delver. Uh, unfortunately, they know our entire hand also, which kind of sucks, but... Uh, excuse me, guys. I've been drinking a lot of water because um, it seems to help with the, uh, the post-nasal drip. <laughs> Isn't that gross? <laughs> All right, they took March that time. Interesting. All right, so I'm just really hoping we can flip these two Delvers personally. All right, they kill one. That sucks, but... Wow, okay, we'll decline. Really unfortunate, but here we are. Uh, yep. Not much we can do. Worth noting, this may not be a Blood on the Snow deck, though, because they're not running, at least so far, any Snowlands. So that's good. Seems they're not... Like well, they could still be playing big planeswalkers, but they're not trying to recur them, theoretically. He says optimistically. Oh, it's Mardu. What? All right. Come on. Gosh darn it. <laughs> what is this? This is terrible. Uh, okay. Well, here we are. We attack for two. Wow, they're just heroes downfall. <laughs> That's pretty bad when you hear his downfall a, uh, a thing. All right, cool. Here we go. This is just a kill everything deck, I assume? Yeah. <laughs> what is this? This is so stupid. Oh my gosh. We are so unable to flip a Delver, it's ridiculous. All right, so we just pass with Spectral Adversary up. Hoping for the best. I'm going to flash this out because we've got literally nothing else to do. Um, and we do want to keep pressure up. We'll phase this out, I guess. At least it's a 3-2. Please. Reveal. Thank goodness. <laughs> That's actually a very good one, too. It sucks that they know about it, you know what I mean? But, like... It still is a protection spell, so they're going to have to double up to, to kill anything, unless they just have a sweeper, in which case we can still probably save one of them, um, which is helpful. Uh, okay, so in response, we'll just do this just for the sake of gaining two life. There's really, n we're going to lose the card anyway, so I might as well, you know what I mean? I still have no clue what their deck is at all. I'm going to leave this up just in case. Like, if they have a four or five mana thing, it can't hurt to have a Dwari Disruption, I feel like. Yeah. 100%. Perfect. I'm so glad I didn't play that. Awesome. We win. We're amazing. We're the best. Alright. We did it. That's two games in a row. Let's see if we can go for three, guys. Maybe, maybe we'll get an undefeated run. We'll see. Alright, guys. Here we are for game number three. Uh, and yeah, I mean, I like this hand. We've got a lot of protection and a turn one Delver. So again, this is kind of in the same position as last time, except this actually has a little bit more action, I would say. Um, so I'm super cool with this. Uh, opponents on a mulligan as well, which... I mean, look, I always feel bad when you have to mulligan for anybody, but also I'd rather win. So here we are. Unfortunately, we do have to decline that. Um... Do we leave up you see a guard approach? Yes, because we can spectral adversary. I think that's just the right call. Okay. So they're going to get a uh, attack in. That's fine. I don't care that much about this. It's not that big of a deal. If they go to end phase, we'll go ahead and... Okay, cool. 
so we wait for them to target Delver. We give Delver Hexproof. Now all of a sudden we're in a much better position. That's exactly why we leave that up. All right, cool. We did it. That's fine if we flip Delver. That's nah, not going to do it. <laughs> why? <laughs> uh, I think we play the Storm Chaser Drake and then leave up the, the approach, right? So if they do the same thing again, we just get to block it again. Ah, uh, that sucks. Um, that really sucks. So I'm gonna do this just because it draws us a card. We need to get more stuff in our hand, so I feel like that's reasonable. It still dies, I know, but I think we needed to draw the card. Uh, yep, so they're gonna get a treasure token. Looks like that's it, though. So, I think we try for this. If they have another meat hook, we're pretty dead. Like, uh, there's not a lot we can do about that. Uh, but I think we have to, like, kind of represent some things here. They're gonna make a sack of creature. Um... Actually think it's the stowaway. Um, we can actually target this with this. So I think that's okay. Let's go ahead and attack in. Alright. So let's see what happens. If they meat hook for one, it'd be awesome. Because then we could drop this, put the counter on it, phase this out, draw a card. And we don't lose anything? Like, I'm kind of into that idea. Come on, Claymore. Do the thing. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's fascinating. Okay. Yeah, sure. Goldspan. Wow. All right. That's scary. We don't have a good way to deal with Goldspan. Because our deck is not super strong. They just took a Shambling Gas back. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and do this um, because we literally, like, need to. I'm going to do this. All right. I am doing this. Again, we just need to draw cards. <laughs> uh, it's indestructible also. So, like, yeah, they can, you know, put something with a minus one, minus one counter on it. But it looks like they're just going to go for the treasure token. That seems better. Uh, Alright, we attack. I don't think we play the stowaway yet, though. Again, they have to have another meat hook or something. Yeah. So now they get gold span back. Yep. Now we're pretty dead. That's the trick. They, If you just have a lot of powerful things, it's really hard for this deck to deal with them in general. Uh, and unfortunately, that's just where we're at. So, we have to pass. We can protect this, which is semi-helpful, but... <laughs> okay, cool. Alright. I'm thinking maybe not an undefeated run. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Look, one life. Um... No? <laughs> uh, no, we don't do that. All right. Well, I'm just going to do the cool thing, because why not? And there we go. We lost. Sad day, guys. That was, uh, that was cool, though. I mean, they, they got us. They just had a better deck, I think, against this. So, like, there's not much we can do about it. I'm going to go ahead and concede, guys. Let's talk about this deck. All right, so as always, first things first, I just want to say a huge thank you to Hello Good Game for making this possible, creating this list, 
making this awesome Delver deck. I really enjoyed this. Uh, I find Delver decks tend to be a little lackluster in Standard. We have had a couple of good iterations, but they're kind of hit or miss. This one definitely felt more on the powerful tempo side of things, and I really like that. I think that's what a true Delver deck should be. Uh, and so it's great to see that here. It really worked fairly well. We got two out of three. Perfectly happy with that. Uh, and again, we got outpowered on that last game. It's gonna happen. Uh, and so I was really, really happy with that. I thought it worked out pretty well uh, and would absolutely recommend trying this deck out. I think it's a fun one. Uh, we've played similar lists to this, but I think this is the unique one uh, that kind of stands out to me. Uh, and so hello, good game again. Thank you so much for sharing this. It was a, it was a blast. Uh, for everybody watching, I just want to say a huge thank you. As a reminder, we're jumping into Popper tomorrow with a Selesnia Sliver deck. Uh, which is going to be really, really fun. Don't forget to enter our giveaway as well. We're giving away a draft booster box of Streets of New Capenna uh, uh, early May. I don't remember the exact date. It's been a while, so I apologize. But that will be coming out very soon. And guys, again, thank you so much for watching. I love you all very much. I hope you have a fantastic day. I'll see you later.